What is up you guys, so today we're going to be continuing off on part 2 of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order where we left off in part 1, so let's go ahead and continue this gameplay. <clears throat> Alright, so here we are. Last time we were here, we had to go back to the ship. So where is this ship? I'm kind of lost. Um, let's check our map. Okay, we are right here. We have to go back all the way over here. Here we go here. Dude, look at the giant monster. Oh my god, did you guys see that giant monster over there? Okay, so let's go down here. Well, not these guys. Okay, guess we're gonna have to fight them. Oh, that was nice. Let's hey, go up BD1. here. Okay, I'll look. What is that? My friend, entering the vault gave me a premonition just as it did for the Sepho. Okay. Alright, so let's get out of here. And the ship is over there. Okay, nice. I thought I was gonna fall there. <laughs> okay, so finally we made it back to the ship. Let's go talk to her over here. You passed the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of patoli mean fabric? Not really. Oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Breeze. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next well, yeah, generation we got the list. of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Ooh. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild well, the Jedi Order good news. and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? Hmm. I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. 
But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Hal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death Mirror Zepho, it's your choice. Hmm, where should we go? Hmm, where to? Alright, let's travel to the red one. That's the mirror. Setting course for death. Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. You must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of Force wielders known as the Night Sisters. They use the Force? What, like Jedi? No. These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. In the end, they were nearly wiped out in a massacre. Dathomir is a deadly place. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Night Sisters of Dathomir. Ah, coming I up remember these Night Sisters. Grab some seed, kid. Sit in your cockpit, or let's go over here. And we have arrived. This place looks crazy. Oh, good thing we weren't standing there. What is that thing? Wouldn't count on him being friendly. Wait, 
My god, what was that thing? What's this? Okay, let's see what he found for us. Ooh, a skin. So there's like a door here. How do you get up there? Now they shoot. Just do that. Oh. Okay, it's just a way to get up there. Can you slice this? <laughs> Sorry about your scalp link. Zeppo were here. Strange. This place seems abandoned, but... You trespass, Jedi. You must be a night sister. I had heard you were all dead. Not all. Dothamir is forbidden to you. Leave at once. Well, I'm afraid I can't do that, but perhaps we could help each other. You see, I... Easy. I'm not your enemy. Your actions say otherwise. Wait, hold on. I'm not here to... An 
adversary! Move in! Closer! Solid blow! Yes. Try harder, weakling! End him! Quickly! Try me, Jedi! I got you! Ah, I missed! Brother, yeah. no! Crush you! You have to try harder! You don't have real power! Oh man. Right, those guys were tough. Yeah, I think we got some new skills too. Let's check that out. The force. One skill point death strike. Uh, Cal dash and strikes hold triangle. Nice. Here, you cannot defeat our fight. Our night brothers. Strike true, brothers. I won't let you escape! in there.
quickly before he recovers. <laughs> Need a stem. Enough, outsider. Try harder. We could. Wait, what? Didn't I come this way? going down Got double light saber, nice. Okay, so this should be more interesting. Um, nice. something here energy from the ruins okay so i guess we have to keep going down or maybe a cross over here. <gasps> Our fellow wanderer. I see you met the resident knight sister, but uh, unlike most, you're alive. <laughs> well, lightsaber, no, no, don't hide it. That would explain your survival. Who are you? You know, no, no one to fear. <laughs> Just a traveler, studying the nature of extinct cultures and dead philosophers. You study the Night Sisters? I study many things. But yes, that Night Sister, or well, she was only a child when the war came to this world. She had to watch her whole family perish. What do you know about those ruins? Oh, ancient beyond belief. The Night Sister and her warrior kin. All right, so he's pretty weird. So let's go over here. We can't jump across. So we need to find a way out. Maybe even go back to the ship.
there is that thing right there. What if we swing? Survived. Something about her is familiar. Oh, there is the door. There's a way in there. I mean, there has to be a way. But I don't know. Okay, Grease, you'll be okay. You're with Jedi. It's safe. <laughs> I'm safe. Who's there? Oh, Cal. Are we ready to go? Hold it. Need anything, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm really in the mood for a slow and painful death. You think you could find that sort of thing on this death planet? I need a second. I ran into a night sister. What happened? Are you okay? I'm fine, although she made it clear we're not welcome. She wasn't alone. The Knight Brothers? I think so. Oh no, there's more of them? I don't know much, but Cordova told me the Knight Brothers serve the witches of Dathomir. You're lucky to be alive, Cal. Please tell me we're leaving. It's an option. We can always come back here later if you're not ready, Cal. Hold it. Welcome back. Let's go explore the other, uh, the other planet. Where are we headed? We are Zepho bound. Today, our great military is dedicated to enforcing the laws of the Empire, yielding to no one who seeks to destroy our galactic harmony. You hear that garbage? Turn it off. Lying imps. Do you think anyone buys this junk? Too many on the core worlds. Their daily lives haven't changed much since the Empire took over. Oh, come on. Some of them are even richer than before. Not like the expendable worlds. Not like Latera. As long as the Emperor keeps the right people happy, it'll never stop. That's why we need the Jedi. Then we better get this hollow thing fast. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Bob's ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Once it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> landed. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. 
I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I need a second. Hey, now. Something we can use? Locked down. Okay, I'll look. in there. Dude, they're chewing the stormtroopers. Watch out, BD. They don't look friendly. Can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. I hear some shooting going on. Hey! 
what was in there. What'd you find? It's all lies. The Empire just wanted this land. I've got visual contact down there! Dodge this! Understood. No retreating! Stay on him! Stay on him! Get up here! Hurry! forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees, shipped off to work camps. Or worse. Okay, we got some skill points, so let's use them. Let's upgrade all the... Uh, this one. There goes all of our points. Rock and no artifacts that serve for it. <laughs> 
regret that. I'm gonna get you. I'm looking. So do we go inside of the cave? I guess we do. It's so dark in here. This is insane. Oh, I see. one of the Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? He's killing everyone! Eyes over there! Ah! He's hard to track! 
Push it. occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. 
It is my recommendation that we disband the project and leave a token outpost to keep scavengers from stealing our technology. pinpointed your location. You need to move fast. On it. Thanks. That was so nerve-wracking, man. Oh, we had a skill point too late. Found something. What do they know? No mention of Cordova. I don't think the Empire knows he's been here. Then we have the advantage. For now. Interesting. We're on the right track. up ahead. 
Something about it crippled the Empire's equipment. I can feel something pulling me there, beyond the storm. All right, let's see what we can upgrade. Survival. There's a lot of them. these. wonder if they connect. seen a storm do that before yeah it's incredible So this thing is moving. We're going down. You still back there? I'm in the tomb. It's 
massive. And the Empire? No sign of them down here. What about Cordova? Still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Eccentric? <laughs> Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for his amusement. Keep an open mind. Did you see that? Ugh.
All right, you guys, so we're gonna end part two of this gameplay right here since we did get pretty far and we discovered uh, two new planets. So that was pretty awesome. And I can't wait to see what happens in part three. So I'll see you guys in the next one.